Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the Axios, how to do the HTTP request using Axios in the Vue.js we have seen. That means we have seen about the post request and also the get request also we have seen, right? Now in this video, you if you see my Angular course, we are using HTTP client module in the, uh, what I can say in the Angular we are using. In the HTTP client module, you will be able to see about all the concepts, something like interceptors, Mm, uh, configuration things and all those things you have seen same like like those things are like those things only we can use in the axios also so axios will provide us with a separate set of con setting the configuration setting the headers and all those things also we can do in the axios also in this video we will try to see how to set the interceptors how to set the configuration of the axios we will try to see if you want to know more about this axios thing configuration you can type in google axios and you can open this one directly so here you will be having the complete list of documentation you will be able to see here okay so not only the get and post request it supports all type of uh, http requests so here you can see get delete head do options post put patch so it supports all the types of http requests okay same thing like in the http client module in the angular how it is having the axios also it supports all the things and now what we will try to do is in this we will try to do the sub configuration okay now here if i try to see in my code okay if you see in two places we are using the http request post and post details in the post we are doing the post request and in the post details we are trying to get the all the posts what are the blog posts what are the details i am having i am trying to get all the details right so here we are using the get request and here we are using the post request now i want to send send some common headers from this axios.post okay for, for, for this http request i want to send some headers so one thing what i can do is here i can add the uh, another another object and here i can send headers and here i can send that leela okay so leela web dev or something like this i can send the headers in the same scenario what i can do is i can copy this one and i can paste it in the here only in the get in the kit i can do like this okay so this is one type of thing okay so it is executed successfully so one thing before continuing to this video i forgot to tell please if you are coming first time to my channel please do support me by subscribing to my channel okay so that i'll be posting more and more front-end development courses now here coming to this video now we will try to see the output so if i try to see the output if i go to the con uh, inspect element and if i do the console or not console network if i try to do the network thing so i have zoomed in now I am trying to refresh. If I try to refresh this one, I am able to do the, I am able to see the one get request. First time it will be the get request, right? If you see the request address, what are the request address if I am having? Here, I will be able to see the request address. We are not able to see, right? So let's check once again. So either I, I have saved it or not. So this one is Axios, okay? So headers, we need to keep, not header, headers we need to keep. The same scenario here we have to keep headers okay so this is one thing we need to remember and here if i try to refresh it again you will see here and if we try to see the request headers here we are able to see this leela web dev c so we are successfully sending the request headers to the get request now if i try to do the post request let's try to do the post request i am trying to create a post here so now this is the post request if you are able to see here is the post request and here if you see in the request headers we are successfully able to send this headers in the same scenario if you if you have any authorization code or any authentication token so you can send through the headers authentication token through like this now if you observe this code so sending these headers for every axios post it will be a tedious job why because if we send in one place so it is better for us uh, whoever is using this axios post we can send automatically so if we write in the headers sending the headers in one place so it will be better right so wh what we can do in that scenario is we can remove these all headers okay so where we are having the entry file it is the main.js here you can directly implement something like axios dot okay defaults dot headers you can have headers okay dot common i will explain you what is common and here i can write leela is equal to leela web dev okay now so i am writing that axios this is the configuration so in the main.js in the entry file 
am writing axios dot defaults dot headers dot common of lila okay now if i refresh this code okay so if i want to if you want to check that one you can check directly config i will write the config here and if i refresh this code okay automatically it is refreshed if you try to see here you will be able to see here you are able to see that lila lila web dev config so that means from the default configuration it is coming and for the post request if you see the same thing happens so if i click, click on post here so in the post request also you will be able to see we are able to see this lila web dev why so we did, oh sorry we didn't save this one okay so, so that is the reason we are getting okay fine and now why because we got only lila web dev we have we are, that is overrided because in the main.js we are having the same lila and post also we are having the same lila header side so it is overrided so now i what i can do is i will try to uh, save again a uh, new post okay, i will remove this one and if i click here post.json so here in the post request here you will be able to see here lila lila web dev config see but again for the get request also we are able to see the headers so in this way we can send the headers directly okay now what is this common here so common is nothing but what we can say is it applies for all the requests either it get post put delete patch whatever the uh, http request you are having it applies to all the requests for example if i want to apply only for the post okay so here i can write leela web dev post config if i want to apply another one only for the get i can write like this get of leela here i can write get now if you will we'll try to check this one whether it applies for only get uh, get request so if i try to refresh this one now if first one is the get request right so now here you will have you need to get so here you will be say see lila lila web dev get config so that means post config didn't apply so this one is not applied so this is the thing what it has been applied now if we, if you try to see in the post request okay i will try to do this uh, submit one post so here is the create here is a post.json and if you try to see here in the request so here you will be able to see lila lila web dev post config so here the post config is applied and here for this one again the get config will be applied so you can distinguish between the where is the request header yeah here is the lila web get config so you can distinguish the headers and getters also okay headers headers for the get post and the get and the request and the post request also you can distinguish the headers and another one what you can say is so here if you observe the base url here you are having the url up to here the url is same and in the post also up to here the url is same so now we can copy this one and here also what we can do here we can remove this one and here also we have removed right so i can go here and i can do the axios dot defaults dot base url it will be base url is equal to i can apply this one directly so if you want to see you can uh, you can see something i kept uh, at the end like this and if you try to refresh this one okay if you try to refresh this one see now i am not able to get the data why because so the url see it has applied slash something uh, gibberish what i have written so it is it has been applied so that means the base url it is taking automatically so that means for us there is no need for us to to write the all the total url here automatically we can change it here okay so this is how we can write the default base url also now if i try to apply okay if i try to apply now you am able to get the data see the url completely it has been applied same for the post request also so in this way we can apply we can try we can do the uh, we can do the configuration for the base url okay so this uh, by using this axios default base url axios default header dot post header dot get these all things so via by using this one we can apply like this the default configuration for the axios and what are those in uh, how we can apply for example see you have a doubt okay fine you are telling axios for entire axios request in this project these all rules will be applied for example i want to apply only some rules to some of the requests and i want to apply some set of other other rules to the some of the requests so how can i distinguish these things you can ask me so for this one also axios has a provision so we will try to see it in the next video so up to now here if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you